the case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who knocked our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle, I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Flight Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table. And the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole Phelps? No, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a sub sister pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand is always worth two in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jacob and the public will sleep easier tonight. Run along now, Phelps. I've warmed them up nicely for you. Phelps! You failed me, son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, 
That's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy has been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Mendes. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that matter. So you don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large preying on women? Boys, boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to beat that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. Let's put the Boys, squeeze on that fucking over. Really room. come through this time, haven't you? Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. On with it, detective. Ah, Phelps, Galloway, congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys? I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. I have to say I'm disappointed. I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution, and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. Your next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. Come on in. Phelps. Have you met Finnis Brown? 
Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis, I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind them that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. Now, lads. What am I to do with you? I give you a perfectly good murder. A case any homicide man would be happy with. An affront to our way of life and our Californian dream, and a chance to deliver some retribution. Are you not believers, lads? Homicide men are the right hand of God. You need to back out of here slowly and take a long, hard look at yourselves and your methods. Ask yourself what you are prepared to do to put these creatures behind bars. It's the streets for the two of you until I can find some forgiveness for the foppish behavior you've been exhibiting. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, the fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown off Fremont Avenue. Just for once, I would like to be able to send my girls to school of a morning and not have to worry about what might befall them on the streets of this fair city. You two are doing nothing to allay a father's fears. Unsolved homicides weigh heavily on this department, young Phelps. Your latest case is an embarrassment to me and your colleagues. A stint in blues rounding up pond life should renew your vigor. Apprehend anyone and everyone you find flouting the law. At the double now! A man down on his luck I can abide. 
but a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor threes of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. Of course we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Councillor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawn broker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. 40-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Theresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick, but she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said, Cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, fellas. You're married, so yours is mortgaged. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case, but it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And follow up on Evelyn Summers. I want daily reports. You sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, gentlemen? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan isn't one, McCaffrey isn't two. I want the confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young Phelps. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grand. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse. And neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot at the prison graveyard. I'm going to assume that you both have very good excuses for what happened to my station today. You had a perfectly good candidate for a capital case and somehow managed to choose a weak-willed sub-sister while the murderous Red walks got free. I'm having doubts about what you're prepared to do to make a case, Phelps. If ever there was a time for manufacturing evidence or extracting a confession, this was it! Now get out of my sight! Run down pickpockets and fruit flies and lead the real work for men of substance. Well done, lads. You did well with the Summers case. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. If the note is from the Dahlia maniac, he definitely also killed Teresa Terrell. Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? 
if this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Tarrells and Merlin, not to mention the Muller... Hang on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers would be over for a start, gentlemen. Looking in wonder... Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, yet I knew this rhyme was too good to be on. true. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to mean? It's supposed to... Forget what it's supposed... What does he want? Where are you going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay, it's some kind of story, right? A guy that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning. But that's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Could it be that easy? Could somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? The fountain in Pershing Square. Come on, we have a clue. Captain, thanks, Ray. Be careful, Phelps. This is his game you're playing now. Where's the press, Cap? I think Phelps and I should get a medal for this. This has got to be the case of the year, right? The case of the century when you think about it. Are you finished? Yes, Skipper. Good. Because there won't be any press briefings or commendations. What are you talking about? We got the werewolf, the guy who killed the Dahlia, killed all the other broads. You got no one. Mason was a ghost. Can you at least tell us why, Captain? Mason is the half-brother of one of the most highly elected officials in this country. How high? Beyond the moon for mere mortals like us, Rusty. There'll be no more mention of him. The city owes you both. But there'll be no mileage in ever bringing this up again. What's going to happen to the suspects in the cases, Captain? I won't be a part of that. A bit of missing evidence at the grand jury. A procedural error here, a mistake there. They'll all be quietly let go. The DA knows how we have to play it. That's it? I'm afraid it is. And I have some news for you, Phelps. No more rooting around in the entrails of cadavers and corpses for you. The head of vice is asked to chief for you. I'm reluctant to see you go to the glory boys of that vice. My hands are tied. Go home to that lovely wife. Celebrate your Roy, in my office, if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's going to have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap, no buts. This is more important. Doctor, good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's Sir, heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. And of your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. A hand over the gun, keep your head down until you're bored hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? 